Now, an inspirational story, July is Feel Better Month. And to share what this is all about, Holly is joined by the inspiring Lisa Wenslick from Look Good, Feel Better in the Harvey Norman Lounge. Yeah, thanks, Michael. And welcome back, Lisa, because you were here Thank last you. year as oh, well. well. And now let's talk about the Look Good, Feel Better um, charity. It's an amazing charity. You actually help over 3,000 women with any type of cancer. <coughs> yeah. yeah, and now they come to you for these workshops, for these classes. So what, what actually happens in them? Um, so it lasts for about two and a half hours, and it's kind of, it's pretty much a pamper morning nice. for these women going through treatment. Um, we teach them tricks and tips, um, I guess, to cover up the physical aspects of going through cancer treatment. Yeah, so the makeup tips, and yep. we can see that on screen now. And obviously, um, women, you know, you, you're going through hell and back. So this pamper morning and getting together with a group of, of women going through the same thing, I, I bet that's pretty special as well. Yeah, it is. It's it's kind of not really about the makeup. No. You know, it's just getting together with these people who are going through the same thing. Um, you have the opportunity just to, you know, take your wig off. Yeah, and relax. Relax and talk to other people who know what you're going through. Now, you actually have been through this. You, you know, yeah. you, you went through, you were actually part of those classes yeah. and, and are now a volunteer. Um, so tell us your story, because obviously we could see you there on the screen. That was you getting a pampering session. What, yeah. what happened to you? Um, so it was July two years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four lymphoma. Wow. Um, so yeah, I went through really aggressive chemo. Um, and it was actually my nurse, my chemo nurse, that approached me and asked if I'd be interested and look good, feel better. And I kind of thought, well, I'm not really a makeup person, no. you know? And she was the one that was like, well, it's not really about the makeup. Um, and that's kind of the response I get from a lot of people when I say, hey, have you heard about look good, feel better? We'll, get, we'll do your makeup and make you feel really good. And people are like, well, I, I don't wear How's makeup. That? Yeah. That, and I'm like, it's so much more than that. And I guess but part of that, though, is, you know, you're going through intense chemo. Yeah. You, you're losing your hair. You've yeah. not got any eyebrows. Yeah. I, I, you know, I'm lucky I have someone to put my face on for me to come on yeah. the telly. <laughs> I wouldn't know actually how to do my own yeah. eyebrows properly, yeah. especially without having any eyebrows there. I yeah. mean, those tips and tricks, are they really, do they, like, I, I guess, give you that confidence as yeah, well? Yeah, definitely. Like, I remember on my workshop, I was completely bald, no eyebrows, nothing, and afterwards I just wanted to go out so people could see me looking normal yeah. you know like yeah. and not see you as someone with cancer yes. but here I am a yeah. woman going out on it yeah well what are the benefits have you found from the look good feel better um, workshops um well I think for me care is holistic and there's so much focus on uh, you know, the chemo and the physical stuff, but it's, you know, people aren't just physical bodies, you know, we've got spirits and emotions and minds, and it's just, it's something that's non-medical, it's focusing on you as a person, not the cancer, and it just really lifts your spirits, and I think that's really important when you're going through chemo because you just lose yourself. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it just takes everything from you. Yeah, physically and mentally. Yeah, yeah. And, and where are you now in your, in your story? I mean, you know, this was two years ago. How are you now? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing really well. Um, I've been in remission for about 17 months now. Fantastic. Um, gone back to uni and... Um, yeah. and, you, and you're involved in Look Good, Feel Better as a volunteer now? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yep. so and how I'm does that volunteer. work? Do you actually take those workshops? Well, I don't take them, but I am a volunteer. Right, OK. So I do work kind of one-on-one -on -one with an, another woman who's coming through and going through the same thing that I've been through, yeah. And is that really, I, I guess, is that good for your soul as well? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. And what about anyone else out there who might want to get involved in Look Good, Feel Better? How, how can they be involved? Um, I just really encourage people, um, you know, we're always looking for volunteers. Um, with Feel Better Month, this month, they can go to farmers and there's um, 
certain beauty products that yeah. you can purchase oh, and, and money, money goes. will go towards look good, feel better. And we've um, got... We've also got um, had the graphic on screen as well. Oh, we're going to pop it up again. There we go. Look good, feel better. So lgfb.co.nz yep, on screen. The website. And that's got all the info yep. there. Facebook. Fantastic. You know what? Amazing story. So glad you're feeling well and that you're able to give back. That must be yeah. fantastic. And yes. the job that all of you guys do is incredible. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming in, Lisa. No worries. Cheers.